In past videos, we looked at using things like Nmap or ARP scan to find, quickly find all the uh, computers on the local network. Um, but sometimes you may be working on a computer or a device that may not have uh, those tools on them. Although, you know, most distros have at least Nmap, usually both those. But let's just say that you don't have those installed and you want to quickly do a search through the local network and find all uh, hosts that are up. So we're going to do that using a for loop and the ping command. So what we're going to do is we're going to say for i, i is our variable, it can be whatever you'd like it to be, in, and we're going to give it an IP range here, uh, and we're going to say 1 through, I'm not going to scan through all of them, I'll just say 100 here. But if you're really going to scan the whole network, you probably want to go 254 there. I'll do it, whatever. It will take a little bit longer for it to scan through. Uh, semicolon there, so we're going to start our for loop here by do, and we're going to say if ping dash c1 for count one dash w1 dollar sign i, and i is our variable, and it's going to be the IP address of that instance in the loop. And then we're going to say end, so it's going to continue to pipe this into uh, forward slash dev forward slash null so this will uh, kinda prevent the output of ping from displaying on the screen because we're going to create our own little output here uh, so we're going to continue our if then statement so I just typed then there and we're getting on the second line kind of a long command in a second we'll throw this into a script make it easier to read but I'm showing you it as a one liner right now so if that is true then echo the IP address, so our variable i, and we'll say is up. Yeah. And then we will finish our if then statement and we will finish our for loop. And I'll hit enter and if you did everything right, there we go. And it's starting to find all the computers and devices on my network. The first two are my two routers, then two of them are probably computers, and then my cell phone and that's all it's going to find because that should be all that's up on my network now it's still going through all the other IP address waiting for a response from other IPs but that is a quick way to um, control C that to kill it should kill it it's not try uh, control Z that will kill it okay so now I'm gonna type the same thing out but I'm gonna put it into a, a little script file just to make it uh, easier to read so we're going to say nano is my text editor uh, and we'll call the script ipsearch.sh but you can call it whatever you want and we'll say bin bash here so that it knows it's a bash script and we're going to say for i in and we're going to put in our ip range here and I'll just say I'll just say through 10 for this case since I know I don't have anything above 10 but once again if you're actually doing this you want to go further so that way you can see if we're missing anything so we got our for loop don't really need the semicolon there although it doesn't hurt to have it we'll say do and then we'll put our do and then we'll start if and we'll say if ping dash c1 dash w1 dollar sign i and we'll pipe that into once again our null then indent again we're going to echo dollar sign i is up close our if then statement close our for loop save it make it executable so change mod plus x ip search uh, dot sh and then dot slash and we'll hit enter and there we go and that is it so thank you for watching this 
I know it's kind of uh, just another way to do something that we've seen before, but uh, it allows you to do it. Every computer is going to have ping on it, so this allows you to uh, create this little script uh, that does that just in case for some reason you don't have Nmap or ARP scan or some other uh, you know scanning tool. You can create your own using ping here. So that's the script. Thank you for watching. Visit bashscripts.info or filmsbychris.com. Hope you have a great day, and I hope you keep on watching.